But some Palestinian American groups continue to call for a ceasefire. So this comes a day after President Biden made his case to the American people to stand by Israel during this time of war. CBS 2's Christine Sloan from Bryant Park, where people are gathering. Uh, Christine. Well, that's right, Dana. You can see several dozen people gathering behind me here in Bryan Park. The liberal wing of the Democratic Party is calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. Several lawmakers from our area have signed a resolution that wants that ceasefire in Gaza. It's sponsored by a congresswoman from Missouri. That's creating division within the Democratic Party. Centrist members, though, defending President Biden's plan to support Israel in wake of the terror attacks. These attacks continue, uh, and Israel not only has to defend herself, but also make sure she can do everything she can to stop the terrorists and get out these hostages uh, and get them home. New Jersey Congressman Josh Gottheimer, who sits on the Intelligence Committee, says the U.S. has to stand up against terrorists, and that fellow lawmakers who've signed the ceasefire in Gaza resolution don't represent all Democrats. They clearly don't speak for the party at all. I mean, you're talking about a very small group of extremists. Um, who don't represent the views of the president of the United States, who you heard last night, or leader Hakeem Jeffries, who's been unequivocal in his support for Israel. You just called members of your own party extremists. I, I just want to be clear, you're talking about the protest. I think the, their views are extreme. Those views are extreme. On Thursday, Palestinian American groups blasted both Gottheimer and another New Jersey congressman, Bill Pascrell, for supporting Israel's right to defend itself, but rejected answering a question on whether Hamas should be held responsible for starting the conflict. They held the press conference in front of Pascrell's Patterson office. Your district is home to one of the largest Palestinian communities in the nation the largest Muslim community in the state, and you are silent on the suffering of Palestinians overseas. Other Democrats signing the ceasefire letter, New York Representatives Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Nidia Velasquez, and Jamal Bowman, as well as Michigan Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. I truly believe this in my heart. Americans want a ceasefire. They want it to stop. The Council on American Islamic Relations in New Jersey also releasing a statement saying it's disappointed with President Biden's plan to increase aid to Israel, adding, quote, there are Palestinian Americans in Gaza right now whose lives are threatened. We do everything we can as, as the United States is doing to get humanitarian aid into Gaza, into southern Gaza, um, and we need to keep pressuring Egypt to open up its border. And you can hear behind me the words ceasefire. We're told that members of New York City's Socialist Party will be speaking at this rally. Just to be clear, 16 lawmakers have signed on to that ceasefire resolution. The majority of Democrats support President Biden. In Midtown, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Christine.